congratulate uh, Kalinga Digital Media or India, uh, Deepak Sahuji, Mohini ji. Uh, also, we have Savitra Prasad ji uh, here and uh, R.K. Patnagar ji, so many dignitaries. So it's an opportunity for us to recap what happened in one year. I come here almost regularly. It is my annual report that I publish here, you know, in terms of the key achievements. Uh, there is a pressure on me year after year to tell you some new achievements because I, I believe that R&D institutions of this country have to be on the answer side. And the definition of the problems we already heard just now, so I will start from the answer straight away. Well, I talked about the IT award that we won for a product which was so simple to use that illiterate people could get all the information on the internet. I, I also talked about how, why ITU gave that award to CDOT. Now I'm going to talk about another issue that has been brought about in terms of why is that we are not able to create new products and what the R&D institutions are doing about that, right? That's number one thought process. So I'm here to share with you my joy that CDOT got national IPR award for this year. It means that the patents have been filed in India by youngsters. Believe you me, the youngsters of this country, if we are able to unbottle them, they can do whatever you want. The brilliant set of people with a lot of energy, if you direct that energy in any direction, you can convert the things very, very easily. So what is this, why I'm talking about IPR, and what, is the, what it has resulted in? The, of course, there have been numerous IPR that we have filed, product design, patents, ideas, technologies, and we also built from scratch the GPON system. I also told you last year we got 1,000 crore from the lab to the ground. It has been deployed now in 1,000 blocks in 13,000 villages. It gives, it has got about uh, 4 GB traffic that you can take to that particular village and you can connect a multitude of system. Beyond that, 400 institutions have been actually connected to C dot Wi-Fi system. I call it, it is a long distance Wi-Fi, goes as, as far as 80 kilometers. And some of you may think how it happened. Those who are technologists can talk to me on the sideline or take our te technology. So uh, this is all, but this is only tip of the iceberg. Why? Because we are moving into a totally new era of make in India. This is all is what Make India is all about. Design in India, get the youngster on the ground, design the most competitive product, most complex product with great value addition coming from software with complex city management, get it to the factories. So we have about 50 TOT partners with us. Out of this place where none existed, 10 large manufacturers have taken on an average, uh, you know, about five or six technologies, so 50 tech products have been transferred to real manufacturers, ma manufacturers in India, and 1,500 crore worth of products have been produced ab initio. It's hard to do in, in, in this country. Now, why did I talk about IPR is that we have taken another initiative. About six or 10 people I put in a, in a, in a room and said that we're gonna do something in IoT. They said, what is IoT? What is M2M? So I, have, I was pushed to the wall, so I have to write the first architecture of machine-to-machine -machine communication. Then we started to learn and participate. So we participated. There are eight standard bodies have come together for the smart city that people are talking about, the machine-to-machine -machine communication, IoT. And they are standardizing a standard called 1M2M standard. What does this 1M2M standard does? It actually defines how are you going to connect all these sensors with the applications over the shared networks? So when we started to look at that, we said, okay, there are contributions to be made. So we made about 20, 30 contributions there. We said, why not build the world's first platform? So I'm here to share with you another joy. India has built the world's first 1M2M compliant platform, which we have built it and launched it. We have taken that platform. But I also knew that when I will say this, there will be a lot of people. We are very good at criticizing ourselves, blocking ourselves. We are basketball game. 
We don't have the, in India, it's all basketball game, right? Somebody is stopping, somebody is actually still trying to go and put the goal. And once you do that, the other guy will come and put goal in your side. So uh, I knew that, that when I will tell this, people will say, oh, you, you would have written some software, who knows what, what is there inside, simply claiming your R&D guy get funded by government of India. So I took it to Korea. And last, about two weeks back, the guys were there. We were really worried. So we have shown that platform to five global companies. And we did the interworking. And to my surprise, everything worked. So guys, I am here to share with you, after 50 products going into manufacturing, 1,500 crore revenue show being put in the field, I am now saying that we are ready for M2M in this country. Why? Because this platform has not been designed that CDOT will get the revenue. The platform is designed to get everybody on board. I'll tell you what it is in a, in a minute. If you just imagine you have a smart city, will you going to, are you going to lay one network for connected uh, uh, cars, another network for your garbage collection, third network for e-medicine, fourth network for connecting a school? No. It will be wrong thing to do because people want it that way. One application connecting through one network to some, some sensors. What we want to do is that create infrastructure in the city which is shared and one network for one city. And every application should actually get the data from every sensor with total uh, connectivity and total uh, transparency, we should be able to share the information because that network will be living and breathing and will not become obsolete, will not require uh, somebody to come here and fix it. That's what it is. So after that, what we did, we called the startups. About 20 startups came. They said, we are writing M2M application. We connected them on the platform and then tested all of that. So your invitation from my side to come on M2M bandwagon if you have a small idea, you have a small sensor, just come to us, we'll make it countrywide platform connected solution for a smart city around you. It's all about you. It's all about connecting the startups. It's all about connecting the ideas. It's all about sharing the uh, sensors together. That's what is the smart city basic platform network that we, I want to uh, create. It has to be standard compliant. It has to be one M2M standard compliant because that is the only standard available. And we have the platform. We will give it to uh, the people who come to us, number one. And I, I'm going to finish very quickly. I know the five minute restriction which, which actually gets placed here. Second thing which is important for all of us to understand is that we claim to be entrepreneur people, start something of your own. Build some, some, some ideas. This is the right time for you to really come out and start a small company. It doesn't have to be 100 people company. Five people company will get funded by Government of India's initiative of startups. Because, and why it is required? Just imagine, you want to go to a village and you want to start the digital India there. Will you not require people who, can, who know how to sell, how to uh, support, how to run a company? how to grow the uh, solution there, how to fix the issues when they come up. We need th those companies. We need 10,000 such companies. And the reason for that is that we have more than 6,600 blocks in this country. And we, our vision is to connect 6 lakh, 60, you know, more than 6 lakh uh, villages. And these are the villages, if you count, multiplied by 10 institutions in each place, you have a huge market only for enterprise. If you, even if don't, I don't talk about retail. So choose your area and uh, try to build, make in India, design in India, for India. That's what will actually proliferate the whole thing. Last thing, commoditization. Commoditization is important for sustaining in India. What is commoditization? A very high technology, which is world-beating technology emerging at this point in time, but you see a potential in it. Bring down the price of that to one-tenth of the world level and try to scale it up. Take advantage of the aggregation that exists here. If you lower down the price, you will make more money than you will make in terms of a smaller market and sophisticated market that you are looking at. Because that market is still is being pushed from all the sides 
and they are there buying competitive products. So that's what is our attempt. We have actually given technology to one consortium called Tarang, where nine companies, small companies came together, and they said, we don't have money to take technology from CDOT, but we are having this, this is capability. We said, formulate a consortium, we'll give it to you, where you can take technology and do whatever you want together as long as you keep us informed. So MSME, these, these companies were five people, 10 people, 15 people company which got together to address the larger market space. So that's what is the make in India will happen, the India way, Lajpat Nagar market. We, we know, you know how it works, people collaborate together, right? L likewise in high technology, if you can create collaborative models, maybe that will work. Uh, and we are, I'm here to support everybody who wants to do something here. These 50 products are not Mickey Mouse product. Let me give you some example. Terabit router. CDOT has built Terabit router, which is world-class tested through the same equipment, interoperable. We are building multi-terabit router because our traffic generation from a smart city is going to be of the order of, you know, 100 uh, terabit. We need that kind of a router. Other countries may not. It's all aggregated together. So we are building that. We are building a one single fiber carrying eight terabit traffic on top of it, which can be connected anywhere in the, in the country. The tech, so these are the kind of solutions which are required. You are not going to buy 10 of those. You have to commoditize. You have to bring the price to one tenth. CDOT is promising you we are we are here to support the telecommunication ICT industry through Make in India, Design in India, provide opportunity to youngsters, make sure manufacturers, if they want to do something, they are there. Startups, if they want to connect with it, we will, we will attempt to do it their way. And we will be open, transparent, accountable for whatever we are doing. Thank you very much.